Russia's policies and intentions towards specific European nations. One thing that we have in common with all these countries, their young, struggling democracies and their friends of the United States. Uh, out of respect for your family, I will not pronounce any of your names. <laughs> I will try to get your country right, and you have an opportunity when you speak to, to tell us who you are. But uh, anyway, we have the uh, foreign minister from the Ukraine, ambassador from Poland, ambassador from Georgia, ambassador from Latvia, ambassador from Lithuania, and the ambassador from Estonia. I've met most of you on my travels, and I can't thank you enough for coming to this hearing today and to share with the committee and really the American people what's going on in your backyard because you live in a very difficult neighborhood. Uh, I would like to welcome to the committee Senators Rubio and Van Hollen. It's going to be, uh, hopefully we can do things together good for the country. And I will make a short opening statement followed by Senator Leahy and we'll have five minute rounds. Uh, and again, to each of you, thank you very much for coming. Uh, very briefly, uh, everybody talks about what happened in our election in 2016. And let me tell you my views. The Russians tried to interfere in our election. Uh, I don't believe they changed the outcome, but it was the Russians who hacked into the Democratic National Committee. It was the Russians who compromised Podesta's emails in my view, it was the Russians who provided that information to WikiLeaks and an uh, effort to interfere with our election. It is my belief that if we forgive and forget regarding our own election, we'll invite future aggression by other countries, that the Republican Party and Democratic Party should be one when it comes to foreign interference. An attack on one party should be considered an attack on all, and I want this subcommittee to lead the way uh, in terms of uniting our country, uh, starting with a subcommittee that is now time to push back against Russians, Russia's interference in democracy at home and abroad. The goal is to find out from these uh, countries what it's like to live in the shadow of Russia, what kind of interference they face in their daily lives, and what are the efforts, the tools, and the toolbox of Russia to undermine their democracies and for us to create a counter-Russia account, a soft power account. This committee has jurisdiction over foreign operations, and I'd like to try to convince most Americans it is in our interest to put some money aside to help these emerging democracies, uh, because at the end of the day, democracy should be a goal of all of us, simply because democracies tend not to go to war. And I want to make sure we can do whatever we can within reason Money is tight, but I think it would be a good investment to have a counter-Russia account, to put some money aside, maybe as cybersecurity assistance, maybe as trade assistance, whatever it is, that we can help you withstand this uh, assault on your democracies uh, by Russia. And that is the goal, to understand what's going on and to do something about it. And to each of you, thank you for coming to the subcommittee. I think if we can come together and produce a product, uh, history will judge us well. Senator Lee.